Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. We've got another uh, Witch's Apothecary Bottle Collection Series, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is just a tube that I rolled out of cardstock. Glued it together right there with a little bit of a lean stacky glue. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to measure it for you. Uh, yeah. It's about an inch. That's what I thought. Okay. This is Brown Primo. Now, my Primo stock of these large blocks is getting low. But I don't got the money right now to restock it. Not that it matters, because we can always paint it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to roll these out a little bit because that's a little too thick to go through the pasta machine. If you're running stuff that's too thick, you will wear out your pasta machine. out this one too. Just a tiny little snippet. And I'm going to throw that in there too. Because why? Because why not? Now I'm going to roll all of these through on my, yes, thickest setting on my pasta machine that's over there, and I'll be back. Now, rolled it out into a thin, uh, th as in not wide, strip. side. Alright. Now, I may change my mind about this, but... <laughs> Just gonna roll it around. Okay. And then cut it off. Now one end of my tube. Wound up flatter than the other end, so now I intentionally made this tube a lot longer than I needed. Just 
still wants to overlap. I'll figure it out in a minute. There, maybe. All right, now back around the bottom. Of course, now I made it too short. I'm just gonna stretch, stretch that clay out a little bit. Give that a kind of close. Just something like that. Now, I'm going to put my finger in there. And I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. Okay, that line does not matter. Because why? Because we're going to give it a tree, a bark texture anyway. Okay. I'm going to take my little needle tool. And I'm just going to start by giving it some random lines. Just something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we can add a little waviness to it. And Gotta have a couple of knots. Okay, I'm just going to continue on like that till I make it all the way around. 
Now, all I did was push the edge of this tree stump, that's what we're going for, down on this other sheet of clay, and that should give me basically the inside diameter of that tree stump. Now, we can either go ahead and bake this just like it is. We can insert the tube back in there if we feel the need to. But what I'm wanting to what I'm wanting to do Oh, it's crap. This clay is rumbly. It's really not, but it is. If that makes any sense. Okay, I just want to make some roots. Roots. Okay, again, we may need a little bit of liquid Sculpey. Bacon bond, whatever. I'm just using liquid Okay. Now, I'm just going to bake this. 275 for 30 minutes. Okay. I'm liking it. Okay. Now this is baked. We've done the same thing. Turn it over. Mash that into a, a sheet of clay. Just to get... Okay. Now. To keep that... Don't know why I ever crumbled all this up. Okay, we're gonna roll that out again. Okay, this is just rolled out on a three. Just gonna put a little line of good sculpey. doesn't need to be that much okay now this is gonna seem tricky Okay, now I made a few of the tree funguses, and I also made a little loop to hang our dangle from. Put that dangle right there first.
being careful not to mash that um, mm -hmm. that we put inside. Okay, let's see. Didn't need that much. Well, stick to the tree stump, not to me. Okay. Sorry about that. I did not film making these little twigs with the leaves and gluing them down. Got a little glue. But that won't matter because we're going to put a matte sealer on at the end anyway. But the twigs are to help lift the lid back up. So they are plenty strong. Okay. Now this one is an apple barrel and it's toffee. Again, I'm going to load my paintbrush up and then I'm going to wipe it off on the paper towel. Okay, now I started with these because these are the heaviest. So I started with those on the bottom of each of these two longer strands. And then I put this large polymer clay one on the bottom of that one. And now I'm going to add... This next heavier one, but I'm going to do it a couple above, I guess. Okay, like that. Okay, then that is a bloodstone. These, on the label of the bag, it said they were jade, but I'm, you know, I've got a questioning nature, so. Okay, and then I will just continue to build on um, leaving space because I do want to do the um, shrink plastic for the label uh, further on up. This normally on the longer one. Alright, so I'm going to just um, put a few more of these on and then I'll be back. Okay, this is a section of the sheet of BB Craft Shrink Plastic. It's got a protective layer on one side that you need to remove. I'm going to hold it down with my craft knife because this does um, 
shrink up pretty good. I really don't want to do this on my mat, but I'm just gonna let the uh, heat gun heat up off camera just a minute. Then I'm gonna slowly but surely start to heat it up from quite a distance away. Um, maybe about four inches. See if we can Take a rubber stamp, get it really hot and melty, and then um, mash it flat with the stamp. Keep in mind, this heat gun does get hot enough, it will start to brown whatever you are trying to heat, <laughs> be it polymer clay or shrink plastic or it will actually burn paper. That's how hot it gets. Okay, and we didn't get much texture in there, but we got a little bit. Okay, you can add alcohol ink, 
there's lots of possibilities with this. But for today, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Then I'm just going to make a little label. Um, and we're going to put tree fungus on it. Okay. Tree fungus. I think the last one I did, I did elder twigs or something like that. This one I'm going to do tree fungus. On the last one, I didn't put any tree fungus on there. So, I'm going to find me some paper, some cardstock, and I'll be back. Tree fungus. Now the bottom is still damp. Just from the sealer, I put matte, the Golden's Polymer Varnish in matte on the whole piece. Here is the uh, Chunky Charm Dangle. Okay, with the Shrink Plastic tag all right there it is the tree stump with the tree fungus the lid is removable although I'm not going to remove it right now because um, the sealer is still drying on the bottom and I I don't want to mess it up <laughs> I did go back with the um, acrylic paint pens these are just the acrylic paint pens. I did um, do a little bit. I'm going to touch it. I know I will. Alright, there we go. On the tree fungus. Okay. I did the the um, darker green on the leaves. I didn't even try to fix where I got some brown on just because, hey, leaves aren't always just green, are they? Alright. There it is. Witch's Apothecary Bottle Collection. I believe it's number 8. Maybe. <laughs> the zombie skin was 7. I believe this one is 8. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video you watch. Subscribe. It's free. Bye for now.